The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. When a great crowd came together and people from town after town came to Jesus, he said in a parable, A sower went out to sow his seed. And as he sowed, some fell along the path and was trodden under foot, and the birds of the air devoured it. And some fell on the rock, and as it grew up, it withered away, because it had no moisture. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew with it and choked it. And some fell into good soil and grew, and yielded a hundredfold. As he said this, he called out, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. And when his disciples asked him what this parable meant, he said, To you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of God, but for others they are in parables, so that seeing they may not see, and hearing they may not understand. Now the parable is this, the seed is the word of God. The one along the path are those who have heard. Then the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts, that they may not believe and be saved. And the ones on the rock are those who, when they hear the word, receive it with joy. But these have no root. They believe for a while and in time of temptation fall away. And as for what fell among the thorns, they are those who hear, but as they go on their way are choked by the cares and riches and pleasures of life, and their fruit does not mature. And as for that in the good soil, they are those who, hearing the word, hold it fast in an honest and good heart and bring forth fruit with patience. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters, we have it read one of the four important parables that is narrated in all the three synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark and Luke. There may be others, but the parable of the sower or the parable of the seed or the parable of the four types of lands as it is called by different people is an important <coughs> parable. The sower is the same, the seed is the same, but then the response is different. So traditionally we say we are all called to be like the good soil what did the good soil do? What did the seed that was sown in the good soil come up to? We are called to be those who hear the word, hold it fast in an honest and good heart and bring forth the fruit with patience. Beautiful expression with which today's gospel ends. We have to hold fast to the word in an honest and good heart. We should be honest. We should be good people. We should be open to the Lord who pours His grace on us and then with patience bring forth abundant fruit. On the other hand, we are not called to allow devil to work in our lives. Right at the beginning, close the door to the devil and then we should not lose our initial enthusiasm. Enthusiasm of the novitiate or the first profession or even the final profession should not be lost in the course of our life that is compared to the seed sown on the rock. And then most of the time what happens to us is we are like seeds falling amidst the thorns. As we go on our way, we are choked by the cares and riches and pleasures of life. Our fruit does not mature. 
that is the tragedy in the lives of so many who have been called to follow the Lord. But then the more important lesson of this parable is as persons who are called to a special life of holiness, this parable is addressed to the ministers of the gospel, to priests, to religious. Ultimately, there will be harvest. That is the reassurance. When we go on ministering to people, sometimes some seed does not produce the expected fruit. We should not be discouraged. That's why this parable is also addressed in a special way to the priests and religious. Don't worry. Some seed may not produce the fruit. You go on working. Why I work in this place? Why I minister in this place? Am I wasting my time? Do not be discouraged. Amidst all odds, in spite of so many difficulties, the Lord will produce fruit. This is a beautiful lesson. We are reassured of the fruit. It may be very little, but then in God's eyes, the fruit is really precious. Why should I sow? I should continue to sow because the Lord asked me to sow. Why should I wait? The Lord asked me to wait. Why should I be patient? The Lord asked me to be patient. Why should I not be discouraged? Because I don't get 100%. Doesn't matter. Everything is in Lord's hands. That's a reassurance to the ministers of the gospel. According to our Professor Legrand, that is the primary lesson of this parable. Ministers of the gospel should not be discouraged by the lack of the results they expect. May we be strengthened by this beautiful parable and on our part bear abundant fruit and also not be discouraged by the lack of success that we want. It is not success, that is fidelity, in the Lord's mission that really matters. Amen.